Media is building a gaming ecosystem that aims to provide a Steam-like experience. It is a decentralized layer 2 Ethereum scaling solution built on ZK Rollups that will allow up to 9000 transactions per second and there will be zero fees. Media has their own game development studios and they will have their own games but also there will be a lot of games coming from partner studios that will build on the Media platform using Media's software development kit. So far, we have information about several games. Metarash is basically a Fall Guys copy. Metacard looks similar to Mario Kart. Block Royale is a Battle Royale game. These games are all on mobile phones and PC. Star Strike Legends is only on PC and doesn't have screenshots yet, but based on the description about the game, this does look very similar to Valorant. These games are coming from Media Studios. The assets in these games will be interoperable, which means that you will be able to take your NFTs in one game and use them in another game. For example, if you unlock an NFT skin in Metarash, you will be able to use this skin in Block Royale as well. This can also work for the games from Partnered Studios. The next games are from Partnered Studios. Moonwill Farms is a farming simulator. AB Cricket Game will be a mobile cricket game built with AB De Villiers, which is a former cricketer and he is considered as one of the best cricketers in the history of the sport. He also has 39 million social media followers across multiple platforms. Boss Fighters is a multiplayer action game where a VR player controls a powerful boss that is fighting against a team of PC players. Gunstar Metaverse is a turn-based artillery strategy game. X Metaverse is a card game with space battles. These are all the games that were announced for now that are coming to media, but I'm sure there will be many more coming. What's really amazing about media is the team. This might be one of the strongest teams in the whole crypto gaming industry. Andrew, the CTO, has worked at Activision, EA, 2K, Ubisoft and Sony. Jonathan, the CEO, is a serial entrepreneur that comes from multi-billion dollar companies. Brandon, the head of blockchain, has a decade of experience in blockchain, which is pretty rare to find. Dave, the CMO, was the head of marketing at Rockstar Games which made GTA and other popular games. There are many more people with a great background like this. They already have around 150 team members and they are still hiring a lot more. They want to keep on expanding to up to several thousands of employees. Now let's talk about Nodes. Node is an executable file that you have to run on a computer and it can be on your own computer or somewhere in cloud. The function of the node is that it validates transactions on the network. There will be 55,000 nodes in total. For running a node, you will be rewarded with media tokens and exclusive NFTs. The amount of rewards will be based on your reputation score. The reputation score will be based on several metrics, such as whether you are an active player in the games of media, if you vote on proposals, whether you sell or hold media tokens and also the uptime of your nodes. There already was a pre-sale for nodes which cost around 1.5 ETH per node. Next up will be the whitelist sale and it will consist of at least 7000 whitelist pods, 4000 for people who reached level 10 in the media discord and another 3000 will be a raffle for people with at least level 5. The whitelist sale will be in EVE and it will cost less than the public sale, but the exact price isn't known yet. The public sale for nodes will happen after TGE of Miria token. It will cost free EVE and it will be paid in Miria tokens. EVE dropped quite a lot since the pre-sale happened, so the prices are not certain and they could change. After the public sale of nodes begins, 
the prices of notes will increase as they are sold. So it is important to get in early if you plan on buying the notes. Currently, the launch of the notes is estimated for the end of Q3 this year. In the last community AMA, they also said that they have a partnership with Mr. Beast. A lot of people know this guy. He's a YouTuber and has almost 100 million subscribers. Then there are also CryptoLark and CryptoManaran, which are well known in the crypto space. Also some other partnerships such as Master Ventures and Avocado Guild. There is also a free Alliance Sigil NFT available to claim. You can choose one out of three alliances and then collect rewards based on how much you will be doing missions. This free claim ends at the end of July. In August, they will be launching a lot of things. They're a layer 2 solution, software development kit, Miria non-custodial wallet and Miria marketplace will all go live in August. I am personally very bullish on Miria. They are very ambitious and they have a huge team with strong background. Gala nodes currently cost around $96,000 per node. While Miria nodes at launch of the public sale will cost less than $10,000. So the nodes could be a very interesting opportunity. Please hit the like button if the video was helpful. It means a lot to me. Thank you and I wish you a wonderful day.